Yo guys, how uh, what is going on? We're back to another video and of course Saturday. Was it Saturday I released that video? Um obviously that'd be my last one. Um to fair, a lot of people at work um actually supposed me about it and like I say, you know what I mean, it's had a fantastic response. Um, you know, from the things that I had to say on the subject I was talking about and again I'm here again to talk about that same subject and I know a lot of people are like AJ whether it's the football content, but at the moment, um sport is very much second in my brain. Um, my father is currently laid up in a hospital bed and um you know it's been a very, very tough week um so far. Um you know, listen, I get it's Monday, but you know, he went in on Wednesday and it's been a very, very tough week. I've been trying my hardest to get through the videos, um, think of content at the same time, it's been very, very tough. Um but I have to take my hat off against the NHF staff that obviously worked with him and so many others inside the hospital. Um, you know, these you know, these NHS these NHS workers do not get um, for me, enough praise. I actually tweeted them the other day on Twitter and just said thanks so much for all your praise. Um, I mean, I should say thank you so much for all your work. Um, you know, they don't get enough credit for me. And for me, they should be the highest paid people inside the world, not only the country. Um, now, again, I'm here again to talk about the same sort of similar subject. Boris Johnson has sent out the warning and I'm praying that tonight I'll pass for... He releases lockdown on this country because until he does, people are just going to go around their normal lives. As you say, it's not going to get to me. I'm not going to be affected by this coronavirus and it will never ever touch me or my family. You cannot be more delusional. You cannot be more wrong. Um, it's uh, Listen, it's, it's affecting a lot of people right now. I have a 4,500 uh, retired NHS staff have recently come out of retirement to obviously get their jobs back and whatnot. Um, just to try and help the whole situation. I know up in my local, uh, James Cook, there's a fair bit of uh, corona cases happening up there. Um, I, I, like I said, I went to work today and I believe a geezer was stood in front of me. So obviously, listen, I kept my two metres away. But that's what I'm saying, even at work, it's like, I'm, I get, our shop won't actually shut because it's one of these like vital shops or something. But well, apparently that's just going around anyway. And of course, all the non-essential shops are being shut and all the essential ones have to stay open. So in a way, you are risking your health even going to work, but... And so if I don't go to work, I don't get paid, and of course I've got to be there, so it is what it is. But it's um, it's a very, very simple message from Boris Johnson. Um, in before the weekend was here, everybody stayed indoors, and people just refused to through stubbornness uh, and the fact that in this country we do not like to be told no, and that has been pre pretty much proven now. Um, you know, the parks were full of people, um, children, adults, families, the beaches were full again, the fish and chip shops were full again. I don't know what on earth it's got to take for people to actually understand exactly what the message is, which is stay inside your home. If you've got young kids, I understand they can be very, very frustrated with them obviously crying or complaining about sitting inside the house. But it's for your health. Like, surely, surely you don't want to get coronavirus. Like, I don't know one person that's come out and said, you know what, I'm pretty pleased I actually got coronavirus. I don't know one person that's come out and said it because nobody wants to get it. But the more you're going out, the more you mingle with people, the more you're just aiming to spread that horrible disease that's going around. It's took so many lives, and it's also vital that we do stay at home. Like, literally, when I'm finishing work, I'm not going out the house. Like, I can very easily walk to the shop and go shopping, but I refuse to. Um, even after work, I very rarely go shopping anymore because I finish my, finish my shift, I clock out, and I just want to get straight in the car and go home. And when I come home, I sit in one room. I don't even leave my room. I sit in one room, and I just, I just I isolate for how many hours I'm at home, and then again, I'm back at work the next day. It is not difficult to self isolate. It is very, very easy. You do not need to do no daft panic buying either. And um, today was the first day in two weeks that inside my shop we were very much okay and controlled. Yesterday was an absolute shocker. Uh, I don't know if anybody's seen the video on Facebook. Um, I don't know if it's on any of the social medias. They did a full lap of the shop at half past nine yesterday morning. Um, of just waiting to get served. And I believe the NHS NHS staff never fully got round the shop to actually pay for the items. Uh, of course. You know, in certain workplaces between 9 and 10, like, of course, it's for the NHS staff. I don't believe they got all the way around. Um, I spoke to one today that was deeply, deeply upset with how yesterday went. Uh, of course, you know, I mean, that in particular woman, obviously, with the NHS, um, between 8 and 9 today, uh, of course, for the elderly, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and normal people that are not actually elderly were just sneaking in. Oh, I'm vulnerable, I need to come in. Um, that's fair enough, you are vulnerable, uh, obviously if you are elderly, but there's other people that will come in and get mountain amounts of shopping and they're like 30, 25, 30 year old and you're like, you're not elderly, like, like why enough you in the shop, you know what I mean, anyway, I mean at a specific time of course when it is for the elderly, it's also frustrating to watch um, and obviously to be around, people are still coming out of the houses, you know what I mean, people are still coming outside the shops before our opening times and people are still refusing to accept what enough is being said by the government. 
And I'm praying, I'm literally praying that today, half past four, Boris Johnson comes out and says, that's it. The country's on lockdown. Because I, I, people are not listening. And it's so, so selfish of people not to actually listen to, to all that's going on. If you actually have that disease and you don't actually know it, if you spread it onto a family, going to the beach or going to the fish and chip shop or going anywhere, you know what I mean, this weekend or anywhere really, even if, even last week or whatever, you could be you could be spreading it onto thousands and thousands of people. And um, it's just an absolute, absolute shocker if I'm honest with you. Um, you know, the minority have listened to what Boris Johnson has to say and, you know what I mean, done, done, as, done as he sort of commanded, if you like. The majority have gone, no, it's all right. We won't get it. We won't be affected by it. Let's go out for the day. And it's so, so silly and it's so, so dangerous to what one of these people are doing but again as I, as I said the other day you know what I mean this whole virus has really showed how how um just how selfish people are outside this country uh, and how much they're actually willing to listen and actually uh, you know obey obey a rule if you like it's um it's going to shock everybody I think especially the majority especially when he calls down lockdown on this country because as I said before this country people do not people do not like to accept no um for some reason they just don't want to Follow, just don't want to follow the um, follow the rules, and unfortunately, if you don't follow the rules, it will go into lockdown. And I'm reading that one uh, member of your family can go to the shop, so only one of you can go to the shop or to the pharmacy. And if your family member dies of coronavirus, you can't actually be at the funeral. And um, that's what I'm reading today. You're gonna to be at the funeral if one of your family members dies of coronavirus, um, as they sort of like be pushed through the sort of, sort of um, funeral procedure, and like nobody can be there. Out the family you can't actually be at the funeral. It gets pushed through, gets buried, and it's sort of like onto the next person because there's that many deaths of this um, virus. The warnings are out there, the scary warnings, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, reading up on the facts of it, and I just think, why can't people just listen? Health comes first. And going out, you know, this weekend, mingling with people, not keeping the safe distancing, it's just spreading this horrible, horrible disease that's going around. And it's touched so many lives all around the world. I don't mean to keep making videos on this particular subject, but it really does bother me. Um, you know, I just want, just want everyone to live. At the end of the day, I care for people. Uh, I care for people's uh, well-being. And when I'm seeing the situations which we're in right now, the worst situation I've ever been around for nearly 26 years I've been on this planet, and people just don't seem to care. It is so, 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 so saddening. Uh, you know, people are in hospitals, people are suffering from this virus, and people are still... I still persisting on going out and mingling with people, not keeping the safe distancing. And it's like, for crying out loud, what on earth has he got to do? I hope, I really do hope that tonight, at half past four, he does call up down on this country, Boris Johnson. Um, I'll be honest, not many times do I ever agree with sort of, you know what I mean, people or politicians or anyone sort of like that. But, you know, for this one to actually stand up and say, do you know what, fair play, I actually am on your side because we need a lockdown. We, we, we just need it. Nobody's going to go... I follow by rules if this does not happen. So I'm up with that by tonight. It happens. I believe New York City have shut all their stores. Um, obviously not. Obviously that's a non-essential store. Same as uh, Australia, New Zealand, Scotland. Uh, I've heard it's really, really bad in Wales. I'm just hoping that lockdown comes in and that's it because nobody's going to listen and this disease will not clear up any easier until people actually do start following procedure and they won't do it until lockdown comes in. So bring the lockdown. Get it sorted tonight, half past four for me, and yeah, listen, that's the only way it's going to get rid of it. Otherwise, we're going to be in this position for a few more months, and um, many more will die, unfortunately, if people do not start listening to what um, the Boris Johnson have got to say. So, again, it's another little rant, but I'm, it's just frustrates the life out of me. Um, you know, we can all see what's happening, and as I said before, the minority are listening to obviously what's been said, the minority are following through procedure, the majority. I sat there saying, ah, oh, listen, it won't affect me and my family, so I'll keep doing what I'm doing. What if one day it does? Listen, everyone will change the tune, then won't they? But as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Sorry to go on a little bit, sorry to make it a rant, um, but I have to get the things off my chest, people. Take care, peace.